Oh yeah, we picked up some snow yesterday, last night, and we'll have one more day of some light to moderate snow today. A little shake of the snow globe, waking up before sunrise in Copper Mountain. Can see another one to three inches of snow for you. Up in all of our resorts, we'll have a chance of one to two to one to three. Nothing in Denver before sunrise. Uh, Denver, no advisory for you. You might get a coating to a half inch in the Denver metro before it melts quickly. Some wintry mixed showers are likely there. A uh, few areas with winter weather advisories. The northern Sangre de Cristos, Pikes Peak, southern Sangre de Cristo Mountains. For snow amounts above 11,000 feet, we're talking 8 inches of snow, above 7,500 feet for the su southern Sangre de Cristos and the wet mountains. All of them until 11 o'clock today. So all of our resorts, no advisories. We're talking 1 to 2 to 1 to 3 inches of a snow dish of additional accumulation today. Some areas have picked up over a half a foot in high elevations, and we'll have one more day of snow. Uh, some spots that could see locally higher than the 1 to 3, the northern front range and the northern San Juan Mountains, I see some potential. Lower elevations according to a half inch, spots like Aspen, Vale, some wintry mix and snow showers are likely, and then they will come to an end from north to south as the day goes on. As you're out and about, feel free to snap a photo and email it in to weather at mtn-tv.com. Find us on the socials at MTN TVCO. Highs above freezing, so it'll be kind of messy melty again. 35 in Crested Butte, 38 in Vail, 39 in Steamboat. For you, 50 in Cortez with a partly sunny sky. Wind gusts will be moderate to some borderline strong gusts. Snow still out there. We'll have some impacts for traveling. Even though this is a light event, never underestimate the power of a dusting of snow. Should end this afternoon in northern areas and tonight in southern areas, then we'll get a break. In Denver, again, a coating or so of snow is technically possible, and then we're up to 48, so quickly melting. 54 on Tuesday. Stay tuned. Thanksgiving looks dry, but Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday, odds of a widespread heavy mountain snow event may be increasing Friday and Saturday. Stay tuned. Still a lot of uncertainty. For northern areas, again, an additional one to three inches of snow in high elevations a coating or less in lower elevations. 39 Steamboat, 39 Rocky Mountain National Park, Winter Park near 29, Thursday night and Friday. Again, we're watching this with great interest. Could have some impacts here for driving if we get that heavy snow, if things line up. Copper Mountain, again, I think we could see high elevations around one to three, half inch or snow or less in lower elevations. High 32 up in Copper Mountain, snow mass near 35. Dry and cold, Tuesday, Wednesday, clear skies tomorrow. Around Summit County, one to three possible for you in the ski resorts. Half inch or less for everybody else. Highs 20s and 30s. Thursday night after Thanksgiving. Thursday night and Friday. Yep, watching for snow and cold for the weekend. South, could see one to four inches of snow up in the northern San Juans. Tell Telluride near 30. Now for your mountain traffic. Be safe out there.